Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us on this week's edition of G News Plus. I'm Luke Wood and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. The new Ministry of Future Creation and Science of Korea, which was introduced by the newly inaugurated Park Administration of Korea, is to be located in Gwachon City. This will relieve, at least partly, the economic decline that the city has been suffering since the relocation of the government offices to Sejong City. The relocation of the central government of Korea to Sejong City has created a donut phenomenon and commercial collapse in Gwachon City, the hardest hit being the owners of small business and real estates. 청사가 지방으로 내려가면서 많이 그 어려운 부분이 많습니다. 매출도 예전에 비해서 거의 뭐 반한 정도라고 보면 되고요. 그러니까 지난 8월부터 진짜 경기가 너무 없어요. 이러 이대로는 못 하겠다 하는 생각이 정말. According to the co-announcements by the Presidential Transition Committee and the Ministry of Public Administration and Security, the offices of the new Ministry of Future Creation and Science consisting of some 900 officials, will be located at a former government office building in Gwachong City. The decision was made as a result of continuous negotiation with the central government by the Gyeonggi province to provide small businesses in Gwachong City the chance of survival. There are many difficulties, but in our government, the government has been able to help us with 100 people in Gwachong City. The new Korean administration has declared the new era of hope and happiness as its administrative vision, and its decision to establish the offices of the Ministry of Future Creation and Science in Gwachong has received a positive response and raised hope amongst the residents of the city. The on-site senior officials meeting of Gyeonggi Province was held at Hallyu World recently to discuss ways to promote Korean culture and tourism. Hallyu World is a large-scale culture and tourism complex being constructed in Goyang, exclusively for Korean Wave. It is also a recently selected venue for the K-pop arena, the government-initiated K-pop performance theatre. Roads and utility construction works have already been completed at Hallyu World, and hotels and the broadcasting centre are taking shape as construction works progress nicely. The senior officials of Gyeonggi Province recently visited Hallyu World to view the status of the construction progress and discuss the on-site issues that needed to be addressed. K-pop to Hallyu World, 그곳에 어린이들의 마을을 좀 조성을 하시면 어떨까라는 생각을 해봅니다. While the number of foreign tourists in Korea increased by nearly 70% since 2009, there are few facilities specialising in Hallyu content. Performance facilities for Korean wave culture, such as K-pop arena, will have a great impact in promoting the Korean wave as well as cultural tourism. Construction of GTX Express Railroad will also contribute to the success of Hallyu World by reducing the distance to Seoul and airports. A world-leading automatic systems manufacturer in the United States has signed an MOU with the Gyeonggi Province for an investment of 40 million US dollars in the production and research development facilities in Yongin City in Gyeonggi Province. A reporter examined the details. Emerson Process Management of the United States recently decided to invest 60 million US dollars to construct production facilities as well as research and development facilities in Jukjon Digital Valley in Yongin City, which is densely populated with 1,600 industrial companies and more than 100 research centers. With the move to Yongin, we see a great opportunity to further expand our business. In fact, this new facility could become a hub for various Emerson businesses. Emerson Process Management, or EPM, is a global supplier of automatic measurement instruments and process control systems used in a wide variety of industrial fields including petroleum and gas, chemical and electrical power generation industries. According to the MOU, EPM will construct a new production plant and a research and development centre on an 8,000 square metre site in Jukchon Digital Valley in January 2016. The investment will have the effect of creating more than 200 new jobs in research and development, 
as well as contributing to the development of various domestic industries. The investment by EPM, the second foreign investment in the Digital Valley, was the result of persistent efforts by the Gyeonggi province offering tax exemptions and priority land use. Well established technical infrastructures of the Digital Valley was one of the winning factors for the successful inducement of investment from EPM. While Korea is gradually transforming into a multicultural society, there is a growing need for the locals to understand the culture of their new neighbours. To address such necessities, libraries in Ansan city of Gyeonggi province opened foreign cultural classes for Koreans. There are more than 420,000 residents of foreign origin in Gyeonggi province, and the number is increasing continuously. Through these classes, Koreans learn and experience traditional cultures and customs of foreign countries and sample their food. In this classroom at a library in Ansan City, Korean students are intent on learning about Uzbekistan culture, trying the Uzbekistan traditional food and costumes. This class also offers an opportunity to participate in a mock Uzbekistan traditional marriage ceremony. Starting in January with a Chinese cultural class, this library has been offering multicultural world education classes introducing the culture of one foreign country each month. These classes help Koreans to better interact with foreigners by learning their lifestyle and culture. The objective of these classes is to promote harmony between Koreans and foreign residents and friendly acceptance of foreigners by Koreans through better understanding of foreign culture. The Gyeonggi Provincial Administration announced that it will implement extensive supportive measures for livestock farmers by helping them improve their competitive edges. This announcement was made following the recent crisis of the stock farm industry. Our reporter examined the details. The owner of this livestock farm with 380 cows in Yongin City has been operating his farm for 20 years. He is currently facing the hardest economic difficulties in his career, since operating costs soared recently and cow prices. The supportive measures are geared to improve the competitiveness of Korean cows and include the provision of financial support of 95 billion Korean won to 250 stock farms in the province for the improvement of facilities and productivity as well as the improvement of the quality of Korean beef through the development and selection of superior breeds. In addition, 2.3 billion Korean won will be spent on the development of more productive milking cows and another 9.6 billion Korean won to purchase milk for the free distribution to students from economically underprivileged families. These measures are intended to help stock farmers regain their competitiveness in the market through the improvement of the quality of their products. The fifth spring camp for Gyeonggi Province University student journalists was held for two days on February 26th and 27th. These journalists received an orientation course and visited a number of sites for the provincial issues. More than a hundred aspiring university student journalists gathered at the Kintex Exhibition Centre in Goyang City, where many exhibition events will be held, including the Korean International Boat Show. Students check the details of each event to better prepare for the occasions. These students then visited the Northern Gyeonggi Provincial Government Complex in Uijongbo City and learned about various developments. 
and defence-related regulations associated with these regions being close to Seoul metropolitan districts, as well as the northern border. During the spring camp, the students were also provided with information about the DMZ and environmental issues as part of the orientation as provincial journalists. <laughs> During the two-day camp, the Gyeonggi Province University student journalists were prepared to be able to cover a variety of areas including economy, transportation, welfare, administration, regional development and the DMZ. The Gyeonggi Province Agricultural Research and Extension Services, or GEES, opened the first rice milling shop using the instant rice milling machine it developed. This rice milling shop is operated by Lee Hyung Moo. Being physically handicapped, Lee has had difficulty in finding employment. But he is now a proud manager of the shop, operating the machine and selling and promoting the consumption of rice. <laughs> This shop is the first realisation of the project of Gears for the utilisation of its instant rice milling machine operated by people with physical disabilities. Gears plans to open a total of 70 instant rice milling shops in commercial areas, subway stations and apartment complexes. All these shops will be operated by people with physical disabilities like Lee, creating some 150 jobs and an annual total income of 1.5 billion Korean won. 일자리 많이 만들어가지고 장애자인들이 이제 소득도 올리고 그리고 경기 농산물도 팔고 이래가지고 저희가 일석이조 그런 사업 효과를 누리기 위해서 이런 대점 사업을 시작하게 됐습니다. The multiple purposes of this project will also include the utilization of the instant rice milling machines. Will help people with disabilities who may otherwise face great difficulties in finding employment. Thank you for joining us on this week's edition of G News Plus. We look forward to seeing you next week. Oh, 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 oh,